Hello and welcome back to this Let's Play of Shadow Hearts with me, SLJ RPG. In the last episode, we did the first part of the trials here at Semsara Pavilion. And today we're going to be doing the one with Margaret and Elise. We've had their magic sealed away by Master Xeofang. So this guy will sell us items, which is going to be useful. But ultimately, this kind of gives, makes, um, old... Uh, we're going to take a whole bunch of these and go for the discount as well. Kind of makes Anis a bit pointless. Which is, of course, not the best. Because uh, she's a she's a very handy character um, with her spells, but kind of useless without them. So we're really going to have to work our best here in order to get through the second section. It's not as long as the last one, I believe. So, without any further ado, we'll make sure we're all healed up. To the nice. Let's make our way with Alice. I forgot what this section is called. I will find out, and that will be the name of the video. But we, of course, receive a tent, which is always good. And then we've already got our green panel here. But let's see what enemies we have in store for us here. We've got some what looks like watery, raging spirits. We of course can't use uh, any magic, so it's going to be a little bit more difficult, but the things are a little bit easier to defeat. So we're just going to have to keep an eye on this. I'm wondering if I should also do some leveling up like I had previously done with Yuri and Mr. Zuzen. Might not be a, the worst idea in the world, I'm debating it in my head right now. Maybe I will. You know what, I'm going to do that. I'm going to level these guys up. I mean, at least going to get uh, Alice up to a decent level, just so she is completely useless in the upcoming stages. Even though she has defeated that by her own merit there. Which is always good. We get a level up. So what I'll do is I'll get Alice up to level 15 at the very least, and I'll see you guys back at this green panel when we do so. So we are back here, and we leveled Alice up and Margaret to level 16 as well. Alice is now capable of beating most of the monsters that we find here, so it's not too much of an issue. So she can beat most things without the lady's hand, which is always, always, always fun. So there's an empty chest, I believe this will be here. An empty chest. Just a little diversion. But let's head up north and grab what is in here, which I believe is a black tortoise fang. Always handy, of course, as we need to continue on westward on our journey with Alice. As we've yet to, we've yet to find. Um... Oh, there's a purple panel. It's not what we want. Uh, we need to just keep on heading south, I think, as we are now going to go into our first battle. The enemies here just seem to be these head things and then a guard, which I'm sure you guys will see in a second. But of course, without magic, we cannot do any all out of attacks. We have to do them eventually. But Margaret can deal with these guys fairly easily, and as can Alice now as well. Just with her standard ring, she's usually able to defeat them enough that they do die. That one did not that time, though. Bad showing, and I'm guessing that we're going to be getting loads of light points at the end of this. These things are light, and it appears the static guards are of a dark variant. So we may be getting more points as well for attacking them. Things, because I do believe that the um, it does carry over, like they do count towards Yuri's token, which is doesn't make sense story-wise. But you know what? I will take any extra help I can get. <laughs> so here we go. As we get ourselves 420 and we get a grand in cash as well, always handy. So we need to head down here until we see the yellow portal and make our way to the next section. So, Xiaofang is here. He. I'll be watching. We do. Don't need any items right now. I stocked up before we came in here, obviously. So we need to head east twice. What have we got here? There's a Thera Seed, which is all always helpful. Let's head south and see what else we can grab. 
as we got our first. As you guys get to see this officer, but once again, Margaret can take him out very easily. There we go. So let's head down south. I believe that this is going to be empty once again. Yes, it is. So let's just head back down south again. That's just mainly familiar. But there should be a chest. We've got a purple here. Is there a chest around here, though? Where is my purple? Where is my purple, guys? <laughs> So we'll just take out these flying skull heads. I'm not going to skip any battles for this game. Like, if I do a whole bunch of grinding, I will obviously just go off screen like I did previously. As we missed one, though, this should be fine. An 18 and an 8. Exodus Arrow is annoying, not the end of the world. I must say, I don't remember this part. My most vivid memories of this game are being in Europe, not so much being in Asia, it must be said. So I, I must have skimmed over this part. A lot quicker as a child, obviously. But I'll tell you what, if we can get in these battles, Alice and Margaret are going to be nice and strong for a later point in the game. We do have, we will be doing the pit battles when we come back from this. Endeavour in the Fallen Temples, but not so much. Right. So, from here, it's an empty chest. Let's head east. Let's see what we can find. This is going to be another empty chest, isn't it? Treasure chest is empty. Okay. That is A-OK -okay for us. There must be something around back here, as there is. Received a silver hourglass. This one's empty, but let's just double check anyway. Yeah, it is. Then we'll go west once more. As we've already been there. Let's head this way. As once again, it's the Scully boys. It would be handy if we had our grenade now. It certainly makes grinding a lot easier. It certainly made grinding, having the Ogre Flame Dance a lot easier in the previous area. But alas, we've not got that now. As I keep on missing these, I take breaks from this game and then I come back and I'm like, what the fuck am I doing? But there you go. As we just get a stand of this kind of attack. We're certainly not lacking on the health right now. I will, of course, heal up and save when we get to the big boss fight of this area. As Alice is yet to come in, as she misses again, I need to, need to pray up. She desperately needs her SP upped. Her sanity points are rather annoying. Annoyingly low, and they might come to haunt us at a later point, but that should be fine. Let's see what we've got here. We've received a western belt. Fun, fun, fun. Anything around here worth grabbing? Voodoo doll, which are specifically very, very, very good. So let's head all the way back up here. And then head east again. As we find ourselves back at the original area. Have I got lost, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, maybe I haven't. As we find ourselves another guard. Fairly easy for the first now. Oh, 
Also, one thing I've always said about these games is when characters have guns, I'm always thinking about how many bullets they have. <laughs> like, in reality, how much are they going to have? So we need to head back here, and this time we need to go all the, the way east. As we find ourselves... Received a golden hourglass. Always handy. Head back around the path. In this big old maze. As we found ourselves at a red... I can't think, but I, there was something else that we should have here. Ah, there it is. I knew I missed something. It's received a witch's broth. Always handy, of course. All the items. May as well get three items whilst we can. So, we get a back attack. Not so good. Fifteen onto Margaret. As they are going after Margaret. Not, not as handy, but you know what? She's in the back row. She's not going to take that much damage. As I do believe she is still, she does do less damage than her gun on this range, which makes zero sense in reality. <laughs> um, really, any of them, especially Alice, doesn't really make sense either because she's not fighting from a range. The, her, once she's in that in that like area, she doesn't like tire out so much that she does less damage. Is that the theory behind it? I don't. It all seems a bit pointless to me. Or it seems questionable. At least with ranged attackers, it should obviously make a bit of a difference. Well, I don't know. If guns, it wouldn't. It shouldn't, it shouldn't really make a difference. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm just... Um, <laughs> I'm just rattling on, guys. <laughs> It's just the weird conversations that are coming into my head today. Right. As we deal with that. Very nicely done. Let's head into the red mark. As we find ourselves with Zhao Fang once again. Which means... We have got a battle ahead of us. So let's go ahead and heal. As we are going to try and take on Baju up in the next section. So let's do this. As we find ourselves here, I'm going to go ahead and save. So I'll see you guys in a second. As now, let us take on a gem embedded at the centre of the altar. It's a dim light. Put your hand in front of it. I'll do it anyway. As we find ourselves... Here, obviously Margaret's going to be the main fighter. As we have ourselves a different weird hand thing. Not so much like a uh, snake this time, more like a manta ray. It must be said. So. We're going to be attacking with Alice mainly. Of course. Not Alice, sorry, Margaret. And right now, we're Shining Arm of Death. I think Alice is going to perform the usual healing. Um, the usual healing. But. From there. Um, Words, guys. She will be healing with rest, Sarah, but we're also providing backup on the attack. There's not much else you can really do apart from just, you know, attack with these two as fast as we can. 35. It's not too bad. We're going to attack with Alice once again, and then he'll use her as a healer next turn. Guys, Bagu, I believe. Bagu, Bagu. So we'll have Alice heal herself this turn. That seems like a clever thing to do. So let's give herself that terror seed. Let's get a perfect, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! Right. 180. She doesn't even have that much health to begin with. <laughs> so kind of pointless getting that perfect. But there we go. As we continue the harassment. What do you want? We just need to be wary of sanity points more so than anything else here. Uh, let's just attack with Alice here. Margaret should be okay for one more turn. 
as the manta ray eyeball monstrosity still stands quite strong. As there we go, easily dealt with. I was worried. It must be said, I was worried about the um, sanity points there, but we came through pretty well. So we had 1,600 XP and a coral lariat. So we get a level up for both Alice and for Margaret. Very, very tasty stuff. We did it, Margaret. That wasn't so bad. I did break a sweat, though. Huh? Impressive. Your leg is not good. I can't believe this is your first turn. The door in the Niwan Palace will now open. Meow. I'm gonna do her voice like that. Fuck okay. it. So we've got one more trial to do. But we've got some catching up to do with the guys. You think these, those two will be okay? These dungeons aren't easy. Don't worry, the girl's pretty steady on her feet. She's got Margaret with her too. I doubt they'll be long. That door will open and we'll be able to enter Niwan Palace. Hey Pops. What? What kind of person was my dad? Tell me about him, even if it's just a little. I only remember him working the farm, in the fast mask he bought me on the day of the festival. Oh, he was a real stand-up guy. Do you have any idea how I wound up helping Kayoka out, kid? When I first met him, he was a Japanese army operative, you know. So I didn't trust him right off. Like he with you, we got into fights now and then, but he'd always laughed him off afterwards. What I really liked about your old man though was well. Like you, he would rally against any injustice, even if it meant opposing his own country. He didn't just fight for his country, he fought for everyone who lived on this continent. He often wondered if there wasn't some way he could have built a truly good country with his own hands. So he's a good man? Hmm. Absolutely. He was a true friend to me. A better friend than I deserved. I see. My dad must have felt the same way about you. Ha! Huh. It's nice of you to say that, kid. As the way. Hey, the door's opened. Alright. I knew the guys had it in them. Let's do it! People in the last dungeon, and Niwan Palace is just ahead of me out. Me, before you step in, it's time for yet another trial. Meow. Your items and special skills have been sealed away. You can't use items to restore HP or stay some matches in battle. They, but they can be used in field. You can't use your special skills in battle. They can be used in field. Ugh, you mean I lost my fusion abilities too? Quite scant an old goat got some scanty old goat got us some slack. Uh, he certainly could, but we'll be doing the third and final trial in the next episode. If you've enjoyed this, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.